Yeah. Real city. Yeah. Real city. Yeah. Real city. What up, what up? It's your boy, MJ. Hey, virus is good. It's Manny. So it's all the virus and virus nation. Thanks for hanging with your boy another vlog. But obviously, you know that this vlog is going to be part of a documentary. And I think I've come out with a name for it. <gasps> Drum rolls. The prequel. Let me explain. You know how you know all the Star Wars, the original ones, the trilogy. And then after that, the buyers were like, okay, this is doing pretty good. Let's make a prequel. The thing, the stuff that happened. Sorry. Are you okay, oldie? Yeah. <laughs> the stuff that happened before the trilogy. That's why I'm naming the documentary the prequel. Let's just say for 10 years, this documentary will tell my story of how the build up is to build up, build up, build up, and then boom, shoot A10 the part. So it's not just a, when I make the A10 the part movie, it's not just a, whoa, all of a sudden this kid shoots A10 the part. Was it overnight? No, y'all, glass. It took me maybe 10 years or less with all the build up, the prequel, and then boom, trilogy hits y'all glass. Okay. Woo! Now that that rant's done. Trilogy or prequel? What do you mean trilogy or prequel? You just said the trilogy hits. Yeah. Oh. Because the trilogy is when I should eat on the park. Oh, okay. I got you. I'm slow, sorry. Yeah, no, right? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, as I was saying, um, right now I had to go some ski for, for three reasons. One, it's raining glass. Two, because... Again, I need, to, I need to go get my shops. They've been, uh, the barras at Golden Ski put the right shops in my hybrids. So now I just need to go and test them for the right length. And they're gonna cut some of it down to the right height. So I gotta do that. And then also number three. Oh, freak shout out. No. Also, <laughs> number three. Um, the last couple of times I've been playing, my drivers be going high glass. Like I'm talking about 1920 um, launch in the air. That's way too high. And one of these days it's gonna be really windy. And with that height, well, let's just say, dude, you're screwed. So I'm just gonna go sort that out. Big shout out to you, to you boys of Bridgestone Golf for sending your boy the driver JGR and the hybrids. So I'm gonna go sort that out, see if I can get the launch angle a lot lower, and what better day to hit on the simulator? You know, it's raining glass, and you can comfortably hit inside, so it's cool. Yeah, yeah, city. Full glass. Cause they don't see your struggle. They don't see your pain and why every day you hustle. It seems when you touch the paper, then they wanna touch you. Write off my name, cause you lame, man, they don't discuss you.
Okay, and that is a very unsuccessful golfing ski session. Now, back into the wet glass day. Okay, that was a very good golf and ski sash. And I sorted the hybrids out. So this is, I have four hybrids. This is, this is all my hybrids. Two hybrid, three hybrid, four hybrid, and a five. And the reason why I have so many hybrids is, let me explain. You know your boy wants to graduate as quick as possible. And in order to do that, your boy needs to hit hybrids like wedges. We get better at wedges, which means they hit my hybrids as good as like the wedges. That'd be like Tim Clark. All about that Tim Clark. If you can get as good in the hybrids, as good as the wedges, then you can, then you can beat y'all big fat glass. <laughs> okay, that's over exaggerating. But anyways, let me get back to the story. So, that's how many hybrids I have, four. So, but I think, since I play from the front tee, let me explain, it's because the front tee isn't very long, so if I hit a good driver on a par 4, then I'm going to have a, sh um, a wedge, and if I had a curb driver, then I have a mid iron, so there's not many hybrid situations, until I get to probably a par 5, if I hit the driver good, that's when the hybrids come in. Let me explain. For now, I'm going to carry, I think I'm going to carry a 5 iron, a 4 hybrid, and a 2 hybrid. Tomorrow, I'm gonna put those, I'm gonna put the four hybrid in the bag. I already have the two hybrid in the bag. And I'm gonna see how often I actually get to hit the four hybrid. Because you know, in order to graduate, hitting par fives and two help. It's all about that hitting the par fives. I don't think I need to explain why you need to hit par fives and two. Let me explain. Hit the slam par five and two. Hit the fairway, take a hybrid out, hit it in two. That's when. Your hybrids come in as good as wedges, so you know, you just gotta man up hit those hybrids. Anyway, so tomorrow I'm gonna try the four hybrid and the two hybrid. See how often I hit the four hybrid, and then see how that works. And then if I don't hit it very often and I need a longer hybrid, then I'll go with the three hybrid and the two hybrid. So it's all about the yard. Let's take it, yeah. Waking up, waking up, breaking those from these chains I'm breathing. Waking up, stepping up, recognizing these chains I'm feeling. And all the walls are shaking And all the links are Breaking up, breaking up, breaking loose from this painful healing farm lab right now but don't have a lot of time I was busy with you know family time so don't have a lot of time it's cold and windy glass and looks like there's a storm coming back there so you're just gonna get some reps in with the wedges and then you know don't have a lot of time so boom -ah! See a bad tick 